Justin Snyder, no stranger to you, Brian. Even though he is one half of the tag team title with Eric Baden, he is an excellent singles wrestler. Can't deny that. That's right, you know, Justin Snyder has a lot of experience in a tandem and on his own. And I can speak for personal experience. The validity of Justin Snyder's abilities in the ring as part of Shoot to Kill. I put Eric Baden and Justin Snyder together many years ago. And Justin Snyder having some fun, as always. He likes to lighten things up in the ring, and here he is, and at the same time doing some crunches. Justin Snyder is the total package, and that's why he's one half of the tag team champs. He may be one half of the tag team champions. Mr. Zane, I've always respected your opinion, but he may have his hands full this evening here at the Cleaver Armory. Here's a guy, here's a guy who's earned the respect of a lot of fans, but not in my eyes, because you know what happened last time we were in Portland, Oregon, the cage match, that brutal cage match between Brandon Gatson and Gentleman George Michael. Not only did Brandon Gatson lose that match against George Michael, he also showed some of the worst sportsmanship I've ever seen in my life when he depants General Manager JT Allen in the middle of the ring. He gets no points in my view. What a well, well, go ahead, Pat. I, I, I was not here for the match, obviously. This is the first time I've had the privilege of being here with the fans in Portland and the WC. Uh, and, and I heard that uh, Mr. Gatson uh, withstood a lot of pain that night. Uh, he dished out a lot of pain and that it was not pretty to witness. So uh, in my mind, uh, after I viewed that DVD, uh, Brandon Gatson got an A-plus in my book. So we're gonna see what happens here tonight between Mr. Gatson and uh, indeed one one of your stable uh, Z-Man, uh, that would be one Dustin Snyder. Brandon Gatson gets an A for effort on that night, but he didn't win the match. What a way to open things up here in the WC. This match could be a main event anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, anywhere in the United States. A lot of issues between the two, and just like you said, Brian, with that cage match last time, there's to Bell and we have action. Yes, that's right. This match pretty much uh, personifies the uh, the rift between the faction and pretty much everyone else who's not in the faction right now. I'm talking about Brandon Gatson, Bolo, Exile, Mike Santiago, that whole core of individuals are the ones who are on a mission to just derail the faction and everything they stand for. And here you have a member from each of those groups duking it out tonight. Dustin Sider about to enter the ring, which he does. The first bell has, of course, sounded, and now we are getting underway. There's a tie-up in the middle of the ring. First, first aggressive move by yeah. Dustin Snyder. Good takedown. Yes, Dustin Snyder, uh, lots of amateur wrestling experience growing up in Hood River on their high school wrestling team. He's got it in his blood. He's using a lot of that amateur style right now against Brandon Gatson, who is no slouch himself when it comes to amateur experience. Brandon Gatson successful successful in reversing uh, the, uh, the the hold, and now it is Dustin Snyder reversing. An attempt of a Fujiwara armbar, both men evenly matched. Would you concur, gentlemen? Uh, yeah, I'd say right now it uh, could be anyone's match right now, but look at this. See, that's the one difference between Dustin Snyder and Brandon Gatson is that Dustin Snyder has Eric Baden on his side. He's got him in his corner. <laughs> 